every Olympic coach, every coach will tell you, you need to use the power of resistance to build up your muscles. Am I right about that? So when God steps back and allows you to go through something, he has not abandoned you. That's right. He's just helping you. He's going to rescue you. Don't you worry. You don't have to look for him. His eye is on every spell. And I know he watches you. Come on, let's put our hands together and stand on our feet. Praise God. Doors of the church are open. Perhaps there's somebody here today that does not have Jesus as a savior. And I'm not playing. I'm saying to you, one of the things that you need to know you need a personal relationship with the Christ. Amen. When they wrote his title, they wrote it in three languages. Right. They called him the king of the Jews. Yeah. There he was hanging like a common crew. Somebody said, how can he be king? And there he is dying a commoner's death. People will look at you sometimes and say that you're less than. They'll look at you and say you're nobody. But you got to know that if you are in Christ, you are somebody. Amen. That you've got all of heaven at your disposal. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. God will fight your battles for you. Yes, yes. Sometimes you can't fight them yourself. Sometimes even family gets on your shoulders. Somebody you're carrying on your shoulders, on your heart. Yeah. And you say, God, I can't take it anymore. I need you to help me. Yeah. I'm about to go down. For the last count. Lord help me. Just make it. One more day. Somebody in here knows that he will. He will. Because you live. You're a testimony. You're a testimony to his grace. To his mercy. Thank you Jesus. Can we say it out loud? Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Can you look toward heaven and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For all you've done for me. For all you've done for me. Well, what you're doing for me now. What you shall do for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you hear the thing, you don't have Jesus as your Savior. Would you come? Just come. He says, if you're ashamed to confess me, you know, we, let me step out of my preacher role for just a minute. Right. All right. You know, you've been in places with people and you were kind of dressed up in the right crowd and somebody would come up from your old neighborhood. Somebody that you ain't really trying to show off with the people that you're with. Here they come, and you're like, oh, I don't want to be bothered with them. You act like you don't know them. Sometimes your family members are like that. Sometimes some of the, your homies. Because once you come to Jesus, and then here comes one of your, your old friends. You're like, oh, God, why they got to show up now? It's not like that with the Lord. 
God knows everything about you. Everything. Your closet got closets. Some of them, the closet door won't even shut it so full. Oh, I wish I had some. Go ahead, go ahead. The closet door won't shut. Amen. But the Lord loves you. He didn't give up on you. And he takes everything you give him. If you ask him to say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I did. Give me a new start. Today's your day on Palm Sunday, 2013. You don't have a church home. Would you come right now? Meet me down here. There be one. And I am available to you. May God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. You're going to hear this voice one of these days. If you have one of these days. You don't own tomorrow. Nobody does. We don't own the next five minutes. your life to Jesus Christ. Those who never heard but with my eyes I see you may be seen. a need for more availability I see hearts that have been broken so many people to be free